Hey guys, Coach Alex and Coach Sue here with Physique Development, and today we are going to teach you about the iliac cable pull down. Now, I know that the iliac is a very nerdy term, and this is just going to signify a different division of the lat. And how we go about training the lats is going to be three different divisions of the lat. And I'm gonna go ahead and have Sue turn around to tell you guys, or to more so show you, what these three divisions look like. Now, we learned this from N1 Education. If you guys have not checked out their stuff, please do so. They are fantastic. And so, when we look at the three divisions, we're going to have the upper lat, which is going to be the thoracic division. And these fibers are going to run horizontally. We're going to have the meteor portion of this lat, and this is going to be considered the lumbar division. And these fibers are going to run in more of a 45 degree angle, and they're going to kind of fan this way. The division that we are training today with this specific movement is the iliac division. And this division is going to be a smaller division and a very hard to train division of the three divisions that we speak to. How many times can I say divisions today? And this, these fibers are going to run in more of a vertical fashion. And so with that in mind, how we set this up is going to be relative to those specific fibers and how they run vertically. And I'm gonna have Sue go ahead and turn around how we find the positioning for her arm to target those iliac fibers is that we're going to have her put her arms out in front of her. She's going to protract at the scapula. And all that really means is that if Sue turns to the side, this is her neutral position, this is protraction. So all you have to do is push those arms forward just as if we were about to give a big old bear hug. <laughs> That's what we would want to do. And from here, Sue is going to raise her arms as high as she can without getting out or creating discomfort in her shoulders. You'll be able to feel it as you are raising those arms of like, this is as high as I can get them. And by creating this point, now we find that this is the line of pull that she is able to target these iliac fibers. And this is what we're going to utilize when performing the iliac lat cable pull downs. See how it all kind of comes together? Let's go ahead and hop in here. And to get this set up, we're going to take that exact positioning. Sue is going to take one knee and she's going to have the same knee forward that she's performing the movement with. She's going to grab the cable itself <laughs> down and she's going to contract her abdomen, create stability through her leg that's in contact with the floor. And then from here, what she's going to do is not pull back. This is one of the common mistakes that we see with many of our clients. Our goal here is actually to pull down first. She's going to pull down until she no longer can pull down. And then at that point, she is going to pull back. This is going to allow for us to really target those iliac lat fibers. And you may have a little bit of trouble in terms of sensation or feeling those lat fibers truly work. And more often than not, it's because you haven't used these lat fibers a whole lot just yet through your previous training. Again, they are fibers that are going to run vertical and they are very hard to target. And this is a movement that lines up extremely well for them. So this is going to be the good option within the setup here. And we like to provide our clients with a little bit of greater stability because what happens in this positioning is that as you increase load, it's very hard to stay stable. And as the load increases, it's gonna pull you off the ground in those different factors. So a better option is placing the bench in place. I'm gonna bring this in for Sue to allow for some greater counterbalance within this exercise. Sue is going to place her hip on the back side of the bench to allow for some, uh, an opposing force here. She's going to put her opposite arm on the bench for another place of counterbalance. And then she's going to perform the movement just as she showed you guys. Is that better? Woohoo. And then my personal favorite option, we're gonna put this up on the screen. My personal favorite option is going to be flipping the seat in the Prodigy Rack from Prime upside down and allowing for that to create the greatest stability in this movement and really get a lot of output. So if you have the Prodigy Rack available to you, that is a great resource to utilize within this movement. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you're gonna love this video and love this video. And if you want more from us, check out our website at physiquedevelopment.com.